A 12-year-old boy attending middle school in Middleborough, Massachusetts, was sent home from school recently for wearing a T-shirt, which teachers complained made some students feel unsafe. The shirt that Liam Morrison wore looked like this one, with five words. There are only two genders. Liam recently told the school board that he refused to remove the shirt because he was only stating facts. I have been told that my shirt was targeting a protected class. Who is this protected class? Are their feelings more important than my rights? I don't complain when I see pride flags and diversity posters hung throughout the school. Do you know why? Because others have a right to their beliefs just as I do. Even at 12 years old, I have my own political opinions and I have a right to express those opinions. Even at school, this right is called the First Amendment to the Constitution. I feel like these adults were telling me that it wasn't okay for me to have an opposing view. Their arguments were weak, in my opinion. I didn't go to school that day to hurt feelings or cause trouble. I have learned a lot from this experience. I learned that a lot of other students share my view. I learned that adults don't always do the right thing or make the right decisions. Liam probably learned more about the adult world that day than he did throughout the entire school year. Yes, Liam, adults make a lot of poor decisions that affect children, like this father in the UK, who has a significant number of followers on TikTok. He's raising his son as a girl. Let's pray he doesn't force the child to undergo life-altering gender reassignment surgery. Folks, I don't understand why any father would want his son to become his daughter or why Western society is now obsessed with children changing their sex. I do know that God loves that little boy and all of us just the way he created us. As we distance ourselves from him, we try to become our own God. Instead of God making us in his image, we create ourselves in our image, the one we have of ourselves. And no matter how much we pretend we are God, we're not. We have never been God. We never will be. Well, that's it today from the Global Lane. Be sure to follow us on the CBN News and NRB channels, social media, and our broadcast affiliates. And until next time, be blessed.